Okay, welcome back everybody. This is episode two, which is episode three. I don't know how to count this, so let's just say episode two, because it's YouTube. You missed the stream. If you missed the stream, welcome to all of our progress. If you were on the stream, you remember I finished off saying that the machines that were down here, I would move upstairs, which I have done. If you missed the stream, there were machines down here and I've moved them upstairs. Um, on stream, we ended up going through, <coughs> excuse me, enough quests to create what is down there, that is creating lava. We caught ourselves on fire creating that um, that machine. Underneath it, there is a single lava block, lava source block, which cost us, you know, health. <laughs> you know, it, that was a danger to our lives. But it is creating more and more lava by putting stone in it. So as you put stone in here, <clears throat> it melts and turns into lava, which is being pulled out. We learned about these pipes. We'll probably come back to these pipes. I'm not going to go too deeply into them. It's pulling the lava out. As you can see, it's going into the first thing that accepts it, which is not this, but this. This thing with stone, which I might as well give it so that we can see, is going to start producing another fluid. That fluid is called, I can't remember, or, or infused, or forming water, or forming water. So that's going to get pulled out. <clears throat> go over there, which is going to go into here. With this ore extract upgrade, it can create the basic ores, which are these. These are also being pulled out and going into this, which is basically a factorizer. Every time you get eight or nine or whatever is required for the individual thingy, it's going to do exactly what it just did, <clears throat> merge them all into the output thing, and then this is going to get full. What I haven't done is move all of those things to the storage area because the storage area is far away. I also created an aqueous accumulator. I can't remember if I did that on stream or not. <clears throat> but there you go. And I was going to start rotating these. I don't like these being here. I thought that it might be better off if we sort of went backwards through into that wall there, put these along this wall and we could sort of stack them high. Uh, we're back. That was a samosa delivery. There were samosas in the oven. No, they're not in the oven. They're on a plate in front of me. I'm not going to eat them until we're finished here. Uh, anyway. There's a little uh, little insight into the real life of YouTubers. Uh, yeah, I wasn't going to put in these across the wall. I've made these because there are 16 different colours of coloured stone, but I haven't put them in there yet. I'll probably do that during this episode. Uh, I think I made some of these on stream. These are quite difficult to make. So we learned that in order to make planks, you have to put azalea logs into here. Yeah. So to get oak, that's eroded azalea, which is a little bit mean and rude to oak, but there you go. Um, and we made this... This is basically wood stuff. I, I kind of like the aesthetic, which I accidentally did, of making a wooden chest for wooden stuff, but there you go. So now you'll find that we've got these stuff. So I'll put in here, this is stuff that doesn't need any more processing, like coal. Um, I could probably drag the stuff from up there to down here, but because some of this does need processing, like the tin and the mixed stone and blah, 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 um, these things need cooking, so they're in here, or they're just these. Um, I'm not sure what to do about those stone pebbles. Maybe another draw for them would be good. But anyway... What else did we do on the stream? I think not really too much. It was very much focused on those um, machines, the, the machine quests sort of thing. Let's have a look at the quest thing, which is on this button here. So we got through wood tech. There's an eroder. We learned how to make oak and therefore drawers. We learned how to make cobblestone. We've got a stone pickaxe now. A lot of this involved wooden hoppers, which is very annoying. More stone. We went up through here. We made a campfire. So the campfire melted stone into lava. And now the lava is melting stone into more lava because thermodynamics is not a thing. Uh, and, and it works fine. So we've completed basically this. So these uh, is the pipes and stuff that we learned about on stream. We'll see those in action anyway. So I'm, as I said, not going to go into too much detail. And I haven't really used all of these. But... You know, we can start digging stuff out. We've got first ore, so this is where we're at now. I can cook up the copper ingot um, in order to make... Uh, sorry, the raw copper, and we'll make an ingot and a copper pickaxe. I can make a lapis pickaxe, which I'm guessing has uh, luck on it. Uh, but, you know, these are... I, I appreciate that they haven't gone as far as making these recipes insane. It's just the, the process of getting all of the stuff. We've got raw tin and tin ingot, so we can make the tin ingot. We can make tin dust and copper dust. So I'm guessing that we're going to be learning... Oh, Aquas Accumulator was a quest, so that's why I did that. Um, we're going to need something that can crush it, so let's find out what that is. How are we doing on this? How many have I made? I've got all of these. <laughs> um, I made one for the paddock because goats kept spawning outside of the paddock. Um, and I found that the best way of getting them into the paddock... And hopefully um, it is not the case that goats are killing things. Someone mentioned that that might be the case. They might be eating all the long grass, though, because look, there's hardly any. That's fine. There's a there's an egg 
give me the egg. Yoink. Um, don't teleport from within the paddock. Oh, and we made all. Uh, look, see. Get in. <laughs> I'm glad that it works on entities. I really am. So that's the second goat, right? So I've already put one goat in there this way. It doesn't appear to be attacking anything, so I'm guessing it's fine. Uh, we made uh, a farm. So there's lots of wheat on the farm. And the farm, see, this is easy to make, really. Uh, we did make water, but maybe we already had that? I can't remember. Uh, this is quite easy to make. It was the reason that you get rooted blocks when you do this. So when we were growing these trees, every single time I was digging up the block that it made because it was full of roots. If you want to make farmland, or just dirt, and then into farmland, you take the rooted block and you use the hoe on it, and then you use it again to make the farmland. You don't have to do that. You can just grow another um, uh, another tree on top of it. So it's not necessary, but I did it anyway. But it does mean that we get um, bread, and bread means, well, wheat means bread, and bread means sandwiches. So if we put this in here, for example, this is slightly more nutritious <clears throat> uh gross butty there we go than just the moss balls i think but also it crams all that nutrition into a single nom so you don't have to eat a huge amount of the thing so it's a little bit more time efficient moving on then let's have a look at what we're doing today we wanted to make let's cook up the copper let's um how much have we got in here Ooh, i've got some cooked mutton i don't know why a sheep was dead uh and i'm pretty sure it was not the goat even though someone might think that it was the goat, because we've got six of them, so we might as well do six of these. Uh, let's do three of these and three of those. Um, because the goat wasn't in there when the sheep was dead, so I don't know what happened. Do we need the tin for anything? Just tin dust. But we probably want an equivalent amount of tin and copper, so we should make more copper than tin, because we need three of them to make the copper pickaxe. So we should make six, uh, and then three. And if we're going to do that, we might as well do eight. So you can turn coal into coal fragments. Well, coal fragments come out of the thing. And you can turn that into coal with the magic machine. But if you don't, these do one item each, which is great. Uh, we don't have time in a bottle. And I'm pretty sure that is not a thing in this thing. It says time. So it's, it's not a thing. I think we discovered that. So most progress on the stream was we did a lot of stuff. We, dig, we did dig up there. Um, let's go. It's, it's called Rainbow Sky, so we'll go up there. Oosh. So that's. I made this at the top. This is as far as I've had, up as I'd got. I made this because the goat just kept climbing and climbing and climbing. I'm guessing that there is uh, AI on the goat to just climb as high as possible, but it looks pretty neat. And this is where we get all our different coloured stone from. So we dug some of that out while we were waiting for stuff to happen. Let's go back to crafting. I don't think we dug any further down on stream. So we've got as far as we can go in granite, which is diggable by the hammer. Maybe we did that on stream, I can't remember. Anyway, you'll catch up. Don't worry about it. So here's our last one of these going. I want to put my um, bucket away. I want to put so much of this. I'm hoping that it's not too quiet, by the way. Um, it's quiet in my ears, but I'm not sure if that's coming across on the stream. So let me know whether or not that's a problem. It's too quiet if it's too loud. That's stone. It does bug me, by the way, bug me, by the way, that um, one of the coloured stairs is bricks and all the others are just standard. Is that always true? Oh, no, look. White coloured stone stairs, white coloured stone brick stairs, but yellow coloured stone stairs, yellow coloured stone brick stairs are the same. And that seems to be it. <laughs> Only the yellow stairs are also bricks, and of course I happen to choose. Yeah. Anyway, let's go back here. We're making some more of these. We're going to do eight of those. Quest completed copper ringo. Brilliant. I don't think any of these have got rewards, really. So let's make those into a pickaxe. Got a lot of sticks. One of the th uh, I guess the issues, really, with using the hopper, not the hopper, the, the growing thing, the, the bonsai tree, so you just get a ridiculous amount of everything. Whereas <coughs> copper can be made into tools and armor. Um, if you... 
uh, I believe a hopping bonsai pot, i.e. by making by putting a hopper in it, right? Uh, you'll get. Yeah, there we go. Um, it'll void anything that doesn't fit. So if you didn't want too many sticks or anything, then you don't worry about it. You just let it create them anyway, and they'll just get thrown away. Uh, hopefully, let's go back to crafting. Boop. Right, how are you doing? Got some tin. Press the wrong button. How many do I want? Just, just, just one. Is that not this? Mixed stone ingot. Oh, I put mixed stone in there. Wait. Where's Tim? There you go. You're yelling at the screen, weren't you? Right, give me that then. All this goes in here. That's fine. Plenty of space. Uh, I think I'm putting. Yeah, this has got modules and stuff in it. What's this for? Wool. And this, what's this? And <coughs> decky stuff goes in that box, but it's not that important. I mean, some of this technically should go in the other place. Uh, I'll be back in a minute uh, when this has grown and I've sorted out a few things because it's going to be boring on camera and we'll come back to some quests in a minute. See you then. All right, that's the tin done. <coughs> Excuse me. Quest complete tin ingot. Right, so what we need to do now is figure out how to make tin dust. So, <coughs> in a road. Oh, that's easy. Huh? It takes two tin to make one of those. So let's put eight in there. And then I don't know if we have exactly enough copper to make. Does this work? Yeah. I'm being precious with my materials for now. I'm hoping at some point it won't matter too much. Stop setting everywhere on fire. Python's probably going to put... Let's put a stone down there as well. So the stones to either side of this machine here is to stop it from setting on fire. But that one's going as well, apparently. In fact, why don't we just do this? And then we've got a nice sort of cubby hole to put the ladder in. So you should have a bunch of materials for me. There we go. So this would be automated as much as possible. This, everything here is completely automated, apart from the fact that you need to put stone in those two. Um, I've put all my coloured stone in here, but I haven't put my stairs in there. I haven't moved them, as I said I was going to. I also created this extra drawer for the stone pieces. What are they called? Stone pebbles. Not that one. This one. Um, and then the lava. But I haven't uh, worried about the size of it. We struggled with the size of it. It's not actually that big. So you can do stat limit 32, which apparently is half the normal size. Maybe. I don't know. Um, you can also, right, I did create a draw controller. I can't remember when I did that, but it's there. Um, there you go. Eight of those. Tin dust. Woohoo. No rewards. So then we're going to get copper dust, then we're going to get bronze blend, which is presumably just mixing them, and then we cook that. So that should be nice and easy. Let's start making it now. Wrong way. It's always it's three of one and one of the other, right? Yeah. At least you get four. I do appreciate that. Uh, so you're, you're three. What's in here? None. Okay. Whoops. No. Scoot. No. Yeah. Diddly. Get in there. Right, you make them. No, oh, fine. No, actually, don't do that. <laughs> do that. I've wasted one. What are you, what are you going to do? Um, yeah, so now we should probably just cook up some more of this. Oh, kind of a bit of a bother that you can't just crush the raw copper. <laughs> yeah, have to turn it into. Can you? Worth a try. Um, there you go, bronze. I can now break prismarine. Brilliant. That's what was at the bottom of the thing downstairs. So a block of bronze is just nine of them, probably. Yeah, any any types. That's fine. Um, and a crafting calculator can be used to work out total items needed for certain recipes. Shift right click to change modes. There's a bunch more bronze. So let's get that going. You're going to take as long as you like. You're going to take as long as you like. Uh, so you might as well go in there. You're already finished. I don't care about you that much. Splendid. Let's put some tin in here. Yeah. Uh, this is the wrong way around. <laughs> Make some more of this. Alright, what are we making here then? 
uh, block of bronze. So we just need to wait for some bronze to finish up. Is there anything we need to do in the meantime, maybe? I can probably start um, digging out the prismarine. Now, I don't know if this <coughs> requires me to have a further teleport. I don't know if this requires me to use the correct tool. I guess we'll find out. I mean, that's slow progress, but it says I can do it. Ah, nice. So, no, it doesn't. Uh, quest completed. Prismarine. And below that, I expect, is more stuff. Dripstone and then water. Can we break dripstone? It said you can break prismarine, of course, as you know, a result of the quest. But can I break the next layer? Remains to be seen. How will the public react to the new glass coffin? Remains to be seen. See, dripstone block quest is to look at it, but all these other ones were to mine it. So, teach me about that. This is uh, my new graphics card. As you can see, it's coping really well. <laughs> it seems, okay, it just took a bit of time to settle down, I think. But that seems okay. Well, you're in the wrong place then, aren't you? Why don't you go there? So we want to dig here. It's going to be the prismarine mine. I think uh, I, n I noticed that I had labelled some of my teleporty things wrong. Um, I Not necessarily wrong, but in suboptimally, because I had named them rather than for... Um, what I could mine if I went there, I actually called it what I was standing on top of when I got there. I think I fixed that. I may have missed one. Or just duplicated one. Not 100% sure. Will you break? Thank you. Can I break this? I can, but it's faster to do that. Got a bunch of prismarine. Let's try this. Yes, we can. Brilliant. So there were two quests. One to look at it and one to pick it up. Let's have a look at this then. Dripstone brought. Dripstone block. <laughs> Good job. So another thing we need to work on at some point is the fact that I've, I've checked these because it's just a checkbox thing, but we need mob passive mob farms on different levels. So this is where we are. This is on like normal one goat. Goats just tear wherever the heck they want to apparently. Um, between 162 and 80. So the oops, next layer is going to be 79 to 65, which is up there, and then this layer, anywhere here and I guess below, is going to be this one. So 64 to 1 in water, which I believe is the water layer. So as long as you've got, okay, <laughs> 54 to 35, yeah, so 64 to 1 covers that range, yeah, so all of that water should be spawning squid, closed squid, dolphin, things that live in water, right? So they're probably already down there. And then below that, there's sand, sandstone, a whole bunch of stuff. And then, of course, we need to do the same thing with hostile mobs. So at some point, we should really be creating a hostile mob farm because I've only killed two of these and I need to kill more. So let's do this properly. <laughs> Done it wrong. We do fish, fish, fish. It really does not like the X's. Oh, here we go, water. We don't have to mine anymore. Yay! Just hold your breath a bit. Welcome to the water layer. We've got fun and games. So I don't really think that I can realistically use my same pattern of making holes here because there will be water, so I'm going to have to do it here. Sad times, but there you go. Can't win them all. Doink. And then we should make a... Where are you? There you are. It does say fully charged. It does. So they, it does have power, but apparently not here. So this is... Uh, no, this is dripstone. So I nearly did it again. And of course I didn't actually do one here, even though I was talking about it. This would be prismarine. There's... So are these just getting smaller or only just scroll it okay? Um it, it goes around again. 
No. That's weird. What's happening? <laughs> Prismian diorite granite. So all of these things are just on the other layer. Okay. Um, let's go back and see what we're up to. So how's our questing doing? Stop pressing that button. Machines. Done that. What are we talking about? First ores. Right. We're trying to get a bunch of bronze and even more bronze. Another blinking goat. Did you hear that? Get lost. You. It's enough goats. Another one! <gasps> oh, it's gonna be a. You are trying my patience, young man. Wait, get back here. No. no wait, why are you there? You know what I'm trying to do, don't you? You can tell. Ah! <laughs> you can blink and tell. Come back here. It takes too long. It's unpredictable. Oh! Dum -dum 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 -dum. Get in. Why do you keep phasing through me? Yeah, go. There you go. Right. Very stressful. <laughs> Stressful goats. How are you getting out, by the way? Um, I didn't... I don't allow this. Make another drawer. And you can hold. I'm going to have to move all these drawers, but at the same time, I have... You know, someone committed... Oh, I need another one. Uh, I've got an inventory to worry about, so I'm going to make them anyway and then deal with the consequences later. So you are going to have Prismarine, go. Not in any particular order, um, possibly to the chagrin of many people watching, but what are you going to do? Why are you not making more copper dust? Because you need two. That makes sense. Luckily, this is an odd number, so we will solve the problem that way. More bronze, please. Not in here. I guess I could make another eroder. Do you suppose I could put a second one here by digging out these three? Maybe. What did you cost? Because, you know, parallelizing is pretty good. Lots of wood. So, two of these, which is two, two chests. Two chests, which is a bucket a bucket though. Oh, it's logs for a bucket as well. That's horrible. Plenty of them. No worries. And then all this time that I've been faffing about, that tree's been growing like an absolute champion. So, we should be good with wood for the time being. Let's, oh, we get to keep the bucket. That's alright then. Can't complain about that. Uh, fish, bash, bosh. I'm guessing I have to do a second one, but probably not a third one. You should work, right? Sploosh. And you're going to be finished anyway, so it might have been a waste of time, but at least we can see if it works. It does work. Okay, brilliant. More of this. No, this. Still only a few more. There's 12. That's a lot, actually. Let's do eight. there. How are you getting on? Already made? Brilliant. No more copper? We've already got four in there, so actually that's decent. Uh, right, so what are we doing for this quest? We've got nine there and eight there, which is maths, so I'm not going to do it. And then the igneous extruder is going to help us out quite a lot. So let's actually add this to the list. It's going to be two more of those barrels, which is even more blinking hoppers. I'm glad I made more mixed stone ingots, and it's going to make us use that block of bronze, which we're going to make in a minute. So four, five, six... We'll get, there. we'll get there. How much of this have we got? Plenty, actually. So we need to make two more of those. We might as well sort of prepare ourselves. Um, advanced barrels is more basic barrels. A lot of a lot of buckets. Oops. Usually three buckets. Uh, more buckets. I think I created that one, so I should have an extra one. 
Um, I'm actually going to add you to the list because I'm always forgetting the old thing. So you are another hopper, which is another bunch of chests. Let's use this and just make a stack of chests. I don't think I need to use oak planks, so I'm not going to worry about... Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about using the exact right recipe. It's a second one of those, which means I can get two of those. And then I need another one of those. Use more of those. <laughs> Ah, mine. Use recipes. Imagine if I had auto crafting. And then this. Uh, I need two of those. So I need all of that again. Which is going to be five of these. That's three. What do I need now? More wood. Five. Perfect. And then two of those, which is going to be all my... <laughs> How many buckets are you making me use? Don't ask that. Two of those. Now what? Even more wood. There we go. And then one of these. Right. And then you're finished. Which means I can make this block of bronze. And now I can make, not this, but this. Ingenious extruder. Perfect. And there's more bronze here, but if I make even more uh, out of nothing. What? What? Didn't make any more things. I thought I cooked some tin. And indeed copper. Did I not? You get in there. I've got no more copper. Well, that'll be a problem. I've actually got free tin right here in my hand, so it's copper that I need. There should be some in here. Two? You're killing me, smalls. Oh, because I've probably not filled those up. Mm. You need to keep these stocked, which is becoming an issue. Uh, I could possibly... I could probably fill a hopper when I get back, rather than putting it all in that thing, and then it'll last for a while. This has still got 32 in it. So that doesn't need quite so much filling up as this does. So why don't I... No, a wooden hopper will probably catch fire next to that, so let's not do that, because I'm just going to lose stuff the old-fashioned way. Um, in that case, I'm going to do this. And then put the copper in. There you are. Put you away. So much tin, not much copper. That's a shame. Put you away. Put you away. Put this stuff so, what else is on the list? I do want to make that um, calculator thing, mostly because it's a quest. But we should also figure out how this lapis works. Uh, not the lapis, I was just looking at lapis when I said it. Uh, nope, this one please, there we go. Uh, this igneous extruder. So what am I using this for? Different stone type. One must have lava and the other side water. The bottom block is used to select the outcome. Right, so we can put this down. We can get water easy peasy, but we can also uh, kill ourselves again with a bucket of lava. Lava. In order to get a bucket of lava, we need so much lava that this is overflowing, so maybe we turn it off temporarily. How much lava have you got in you? Probably none yet. Oh, look. Oh, this is falling out as well. Um, it's empty again. <laughs> and get in there. So, it doesn't seem to take too long. I'll be back when this has done a full bucket. So I'm here. I've put this here temporarily, and I'll tell you for why. It's because at some point, I'll be able to move the lava here somewhere else without setting myself on fire. And then there's, I'm going to put lava there, like this. Broke the bucket, of course it did. Um, again, to make stone right uh, this i can also move this one whenever i fancy doing so but for now the easiest way of getting the lava next to the ignis extruder was to do it down here and then maybe we should uh cover this up <laughs> so that i don't hurt myself um i have to pick this up so that i could do the thing so let's do that put that back and i think this was just doing it's an extraction module so that's just going to pull all the yeah okay um Let's make some stone bricks and then turn them into stone slabs. Put the slabs 
Well, I only want one, but we'll do that and then. Right, now I'm not going to fall in it by accident like a fool. <laughs> Which is guaranteed, you know it, so don't come to me like you didn't expect that sort of thing. So I noticed that's making uh, stone pebbles. What else can we make? Nothing. Okay, well, that's what you're doing. Redstone control log. Okay. Requires and doesn't. The block beneath may also affect the block beneath. So literally under it, not not this block, but the world block. I get it. So I need to have the thing that I want to create. So I can't just create an arbitrary thing. I can't create something I haven't found before. So stone is def wow. Now that I know that. I could feed that into there, couldn't I? With pipes. Maybe we try that. Kind of. Why didn't you just put it there? My <laughs> pellet. You can still do that. Uh, we could make an obsidian block doing that, actually. Do you know what? For the price of a um, bucket, one piece of obsidian seems fine to me. We'll pick that up at some point. Uh, so what we can do is put this here. Have thought of this before. Why? What? Right. And then I have to go and get another bucket because I used them in hoppers that I apparently didn't need. But we can do this. If we'll continue now, we'll create even more stone. But that's good because then we can get a pie. Oh, a retrieval mode thingy. Perfect. Uh, and a pipe. So you boop there, and then empty hand. Boop, and then where'd it go? There it is. And then you are going to retrieve that. And then that should be. Oh, and you need to. Can we just not output anywhere? Can you not do that? No. Are you killing me? Are you saying? Are you? <laughs> You just can't extract from a Niganese extruder, is that what you're telling me? You can only do it from the side? It does seem to have... I don't know. Let's try it. Uh, I mean, it connected. That's the weird thing. And then you. You're a retriever. Retrieve that. Oh, it's already set up. Oh, well, that's working. Well, it's weird that you can't pull it out the top, but okay. So now that's infinite lava from itself. <laughs> the lava that is creating the infinite stone is also now creating infinite lava out of that stone. So now the only thing we need to fill up with stone is this thing, which we can probably do as well. I, I want to move those things up here, but I don't want to burn myself, right? Um, I, c I could also fill this up with the same source of stones. I mean, we could just make more pipes, but it's starting to get a little bit preposterous preposterous and also okay fine i'll be back when i've done it that was a palava but let me show you what i've done <laughs> this okay pr previously this was had this had a retrieval module in it um which was retrieving stone pebbles from there i thought that's uh over very well and good but what i did is replaced it with a pushing module in here which would just push whatever trouble is the pushing module this uh the opposite of this would push out of here, would grab these at exactly the speed that this would use them. So it basically one a second, one a second would come out of here and immediately go into there. This was never going to back stuff and therefore nothing would ever go upstairs. Um, I have made them upstairs. I'm not sure whether I want to disconnect those. It's kind of nice that they connect and it's also kind of horrible. I'm going to disconnect them here too. Um, it's, it's fluids and items, so they're not actually going to transfer anything between them, but it really looks weird, so let's not do it. Um, I thought that it would grow on me it hasn't so there we go so what i've done instead is i made a second retrieval module which requires um the construction of two extraction modules and even more blank modules so we, we did that on stream so we've seen it before if you watch the stream uh, and if you didn't then now you know but now this one also has a retrieval module in it so that seems to go at half the speed but it doesn't seem to be affected by the pipe at the other end because now it appears to be pulling out actually two at basically exactly the same time you see that so it's working this is going to send stone into there and into there 
It seems to be basically keeping up. So we've automated something. All we need to do now is automate what we do with this stuff, but I'm kind of not too bothered about that right at this point. Um, we're going to have basically an infinite supply of these resources. Time is the difference rather than anything else. This is full now. So there you go. Uh, you could probably also prevent... We do actually have a preventy over sendy module because we created it for the quest. So let's, um, let's have a look at that. There you are. So that will stop things bouncing around so much. We have this, and that is limit to one step. So you should now no longer be able to ask for anything that you don't have room for. This will cause maybe a small issue because, I mean, that one bounced back anyway, but it's going to have to wait until there's room for it before it requests it. There's enough of a buffer. I'm not worried about that. Oh, they just fall out. Well, that's no good. <laughs> don't do that. You might as well have them. There you go. Now you got 31. Now you got 64. Brilliant. Anything fits in here goes in there. Still bouncing, huh? Maybe there that was the last of them? Because that seems to be going a bit slower now, yeah. Yeah, nothing's going up there now. So I'm I'm happy with that. You go in there. Well whatever. Um you go in there, you go in there. So that seems to be a good wrapping up point. Thanks for watching. Um we did get as much done as I'd like to. I'm gonna maybe try and create a little bit more bronze so that we can finish the other quest um sort of in between streams i don't think you really need to see that but next time um on stream we'll see what this crafting calculator looks like unless i can you know do this quickly while i'm talking it's not going to happen don't worry about it i forgot that that requires two actually um but there you are this will be actually our eight so at least gives us that damn goat it's an escaped goat and you're not in here. No, it just keeps getting, just keep climbing out of the paddock. I feel like I should just set up a, a recording, like a, <laughs> a security camera or something. Did, did that work? Did I catch it at the moment? That or it died. <laughs> One of the two. It sounded like a little bit like a. Raw pork Do I telefrag it? No, because there's no goat in here. Why is everything dying? Oh, no, there you are. Yeah, eat that. There's no way that goat killed that pig. What is happening? I don't know. Maybe I telefragged it. Who knows? It's kind of annoying that there's constantly goats walking around my base, but at least we can have a bacon sandwich. Uh, I was signing off, <laughs> so thanks for watching. Never mind, let's do this. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you'll join me for the stream. The stream is on Tuesday, a week from when this is released. So uh, come see me. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Mr. Altrius Sir. There'll be a link in the description below. Join my Discord. There'll be a link in the description below. And if you do join the Discord, then you'll know when I am streaming because I'll tell you. I don't understand this. I'll figure it out either on stream or off camera. Oh, there's a, there's a thing to read. So I'll read that. Thanks for watching. See you on stream. Hope you've enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe or... Well, you can't dislike anyone. Well, you can dislike if you really want to, but please don't. And yeah, see you then. Ta-ta.